Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do an abstract drawing in Photoshop using simple shapes. So we're going to draw something similar to what you see on the screen. I'm not going to spend a lot of time to draw exactly this shape, but I'm going to teach you the method of drawing such thing. So we're going to go to File New. I'm going to uh, choose 10, 24, 7, 68. and make sure artboard is not checked for the background color we're going to choose black and then we're going to click create alright I'm going to obviously I'm going I'm gonna need a lot of rectangles so we're gonna pick up the rectangle tool um, I'm going to head to the options bar. I'm going to get rid of the stroke. So let's click on that and choose none. Um, for the fill, you can use any color. You can start with any color and then um, change colors. I'm going to use orange first and I'm going to start with this row. I'm going to click and drag. I go all the way and go outside a bit. So there you, there you go. We have a simple rectangle. Obviously, we need a lot of these. I can s keep going back to the uh, rectangle tool and keep drawing shapes. But what, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. There are several different ways of duplicating shape. We can go here and uh, right-click on the layer to duplicate it. We can drag it here to duplicate it. But I'm going to tell you a, um, a simple method that is going to be super useful here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt or Option and using the Move tool, click and drag on that shape. And that will simply create a duplicate of that shape. Uh, you can go to the pro Properties panel. I'm just going to drag this out because it's gonna, we're going to need it all, all the time. So uh, then you can go here and change the color. Since we're on the move tool, we can keep moving this one and modify it the way we want it. Again, I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag. Go here, change the color, and we're going to repeat this process over and over again as many times as we like. I'm just uh, choosing a really simple path of uh, selecting colors by going to this row of colors on their property panel. So I'm just being lazy here. I'm not paying any interest. I'm not paying any um, uh, time and uh, effort in choosing proper color harmony here. But you're welcome to do so. Um, also, when we're done with this process, what we're going to do is, okay, let's say this is enough. I'm just going to bring this back. Uh, when we're done with this, we can go uh, move them around, shift them around. Also, we can actually select any of them, press Control or Command T, and resize them. So you can take a look at the layers panel. Any of them, you can choose any of them. For instance, I can go for the first one here and move it up a little bit, create some separation. Control or Command T. I'm going to make it narrow, then press Enter. I'm going to go for the second one. Do the same thing. I'm using the arrow keys to move these guys up. Let's go to the third. We're going to move it up again. All right, I'm going to leave those there. And the yellow one, I'm going to bring it up. And perhaps we're going to make it a little bit thicker again I press control T that's shortcut for transform so there again there are no rules here you can do whatever you want uh, we're just jazzing this up a little bit alright so let's pretend this is uh, what we wanted these are all the shapes we needed for our uh, abstract drawing project now we're gonna head to layers panel and make the background layer invisible by clicking on that eyeball. You'll see why in a minute. We're going to merge all these layers and in order to do that 
we have to make this invisible because we're going to head to this menu here and go click okay, I'm going to show you one more time uh, you're going to click on any of these shapes and then go here and go merge visible and now you see all of them are merged to one shape so we're going to bring the visibility of the background back now we have this one solid shape I can turn it off and on so you see it and I want to press Control T again uh, if you're on Mac Command T for transform and immediately we're going to go take a look at the options bar and we're going to click on this warp icon this will add another sets of, well to be more exact, another four sets of um, dots or anchor points here which we can click and drag to modify keep in mind this is uh, destructive editing meaning anytime you're done with it you press return or enter and you're done you cannot modify this again if you wanted to um, edit this uh, you need to press Control Z or Command Z which is an undo and try it again and um, this is basically the whole method again um, you can come up with any number of shapes any color set you want and uh, modify it uh, to, to your taste uh, but the whole uh, uh, process is quite the same so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching